Hey everybody, it's another 5 Minute Paranormal here at Old Spirits and this time we're together. We're in it together. We're in it together this time. And what we thought we'd talk about is a go bag. Now, Phil, do we have a go bag? Do you have a go bag, I should ask? I've got a go bag right here. Too. Okay, so talk about this. What? Why is this a good go bag for you? So why is this a good go bag? This is an over-the-shoulder camera bag, as a matter of fact, but you sling it right over your shoulder. Nice thing about this bag is it has a remarkable amount of storage in a compact size, and it's extremely agile when I'm out in the field. So I can slide this right down over my front and I can reach into my various compartments, get to whatever gear I want to get to in the heat of the moment. And that is made by who now? This is made by Mosiso. You can get this off of uh, Amazon.com. This is my go-to go bag. Now, as a lot of you know, I am the backpack guy and this is, uh, this is the backpack on the next level. This is a low pro. And the Low Pro, also available on Amazon, not only does it come in different colors, but what I like about it is that because it is built for photographers, you got these wonderful padded pockets. These padded pockets are your friends when you are out in the field. Now when it comes to power bricks though, Phil, do you have like power bricks ready to go? Do you have something that's, that's like within reach? What is your philosophy on that? 100%. No matter what the scenario is, mm -hmm. always have your power bricks charged and ready to go. That is one of the... I think essential items to have in your go bag because you never know when you're going to have a battery drain. You right. really want to charge one of your devices on the fly or leave a device in somewhere in the field running for the entire course of the uh, investigation. So having a power brick should be in the go bag. And the other thing to know about go bags, whether it is a smaller bag like the Masiso or the larger bag like the Low Pro, the thing to know about the, the go bag is that it's tailored to what you want and what you need. And so it, it, and it works out great, especially because I originally got this when I was a photographer, when I was into photography. But this has actually turned out to be a fantastic uh, boom for a paranormal investigator. And I will say, not to interject, this is a photography Please bag. Please interject. That's why well. you're here. That's man. why I'm here. <laughs> this is a photography bag as well, yeah. and you will find that quite a few paranormal investigators, uh, a lot of great content creators on uh, Instagram, i.e. Uh, pretty effing spooky comes to mind. She uses a camera bag in the right. field because again, they have the padded compartments. Yep. They are perfectly suited for various pieces of equipment in different sizes and ready to be grabbed right out. So we've talked about the kind of go bag that you'd want to have. Now here's the next big question. What's in the go bag? So this is why I love the go bag concept. It's a very personal question. Because but the go bag keeps you focused on the conservative side of what gear you want to have right at your disposal. Right. So what I've got in my go bag, because that's that's the real question. So you're, you're, go you're, you came packed. I came packed. Yeah. Because it's my go bag, man. So um, I have at least one audio recorder. Of course, this mm -hmm. is the Zoom H2N. It's a favorite here at Old Spirits, that's that's one thing I would have. So I would definitely have an audio, audio cord. The other thing I would have, I would have at least one of these. I've got my video recorder. So now that I have an audio and video recorder, I have something to record data on. And if you're wondering why I prioritize that, you can go back to our viewer question, which was, what is a good starter kit for new paranormal mm -hmm. investigators? So I've got an audio and I've got my video issues covered. So evidence. Covered. Then there's the one gadget, the one gadget that you want to have with you. Sometimes it's going to be the Flux. It's going to be Simon. Sometimes it's going to be Fast Eddie. But I think I think when it comes to the Go Bag, I'm always going to have Fast Eddie because Fast Eddie works pretty much in any condition. Right. Indoors, outdoors, hot, cold, windy, not windy. I can rely on uh, on the Eddie to uh, get the data that I need. Yeah, absolutely. So what about you? So for me, so I want a digital recorder for audio. Right. I want a, uh, I want a video camera for video. Then I want some kind of response device in the field. Like you mentioned the Flux, I'll take at least one REM pod with me. I can fit two REM pods into the Mosisa. You can fit two REM pods, fit two REM pods in there. I never knew right. that. It can fit I two never, REM pods I in never, there. So I, at least- I just learned that. Yes, <laughs> Seriously. You, the more you know. So at least, you know, one response device, REM pod. Two REM pods? The nice thing about the Mosiso is I can get my REM pod in here, but then what about EMF fluctuations? You want to be able to capture that too. Yeah. Now, while the Eddy does it all, yeah. I can bring my K2 and maybe one other EMF 
reader, which fits right in the side pocket. I think I have bag envy now because that's that, yeah. that's a lot of stuff. So, Red pods are not that are not that tiny. So you've got your response device. Right. So you've got your like environmental right device for EMF or temperature. Right. right? Uh, spirit box is always handy. Spirit box fits right in this bag as well. In terms of, but again, work. it's a go bag, so you got to go conservative. So, wh how do you make that decision? I make the decision. The spirit box always fits in this bag, so the spirit box always comes because you never know when the moment's going to feel right. Fair enough. And then Fair I enough. would that's, say, that's a good answer. Flashlight. Okay. Flashlight and to take a left turn. Breath mints because you might be out in the field, you might be getting dehydrated because That's you are true. asking questions, you're interacting, That's you're true. moving, That's you're true. getting excited, and you might not want to be drinking a lot of fluids because yeah. sometimes when you're on an investigation, bathrooms are a little, a little sparse. Mm -hmm. Breath mint kind of helps you feel hydrated, keeps your breath fresh, so you're not <laughs> offending your fellow yes. investigators. Uh, but for, for me, that is that is always a critical element in my go bag is that small container of icebreakers. So that is just a quick look at go bags and we'd love to hear from the paranormal investigators that are in our audience. What is in your go bag? We'd love to know. And for those of you new to paranormal investigation, we hope this video helps you out in your first outing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and enable notifications for whenever we put up new content. And don't forget to leave us a comment because yes, we will respond. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the field.